stay away from jazz and liquor and the men who play for fun. That's the thought that came upon me. Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Moon Prism Planner. Welcome back to my channel for another video or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Either way, thanks for clicking and watching. Today I'm gonna to be moving into and setting up my 2020 to 2021 planner. And this is a recollections planner from Michaels. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump on into it. It does have a shaker glitter pouch. So I don't know if you can see any of that. Anyways, first things first, we do need to move out of my current planner. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Um, currently, as of filming this, this is my last week in this planner. And so we're just gonna start taking everything out. Let's first take off the covers. And um, I don't think I have any personal information right here. No, <laughs> I didn't even check to see before going through this. But yeah, let's go ahead and see. So I do need to take out these stickers which I haven't used that many of, but I will just tear them out. And I do just like give them to my son since he does plan in his own little planner and he likes stickers. So I will give him leftovers and things I'm not gonna use. I also wanna empty the whatever's in this back pocket here. I just have like some leftover stickers from my kits that I'm using and then this like meditation tracker. I printed this out from Bloom Daily Planners and it was free. I just haven't been using it, um, but I think it'd be nice to start using it, so maybe I'll use it one day. Then there's also this pouch where I've got some cute stuff in here, and this is an, a little baby Yoda that my son drew. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> so anyways, I've just got like little um, memories and stuff in here, so don't want to, you know, pack that away. And then that's it. Um, I have a new cover for this since this will go in my like memory pile of like old planners and stuff. And so um, I have this one that says academic year 2019 to 2020 because that's what this planner is. I do want to just, ugh, this planner is so fat that I can't even get the cover on. I do just want to like let you, let you know that this is an Erin Condren planner and this is a company that I no longer support. And um, if you're in this community already, then you kind of already know why. So I'm not going to get into that. But I did just want to show that um, there is some, there's a process to me moving into a new planner and it does involve moving out of a planner. So, you know, I'm not um, linking her information or where the products or anything like that. I'm just letting you know that uh, this is no longer a planner I'm using. And that's why I'm using the recollections for the next year. Oh my gosh. There we go. Okay. So now this will just go in storage. I actually have these like planner bands to keep it kind of closed better. Oh, I forgot the rulers. Um, don't want to forget those. Actually, these rulers are kind of really crappy. This one's not too bad, but this one actually broke just on its own. I didn't even do anything. I just took it out one day and it broke. Anyways, and I will band it together to help it stay, but I can't exactly find those right now, so I will look for those later. But anyways, that is the complete moving out of this planner. And let's go ahead and start by moving in to this one. So this is an 18 month vertical planner. Like I said, by recollections, why is it inside a cover looking dirty? Oh, well, um, we have a little pouch here in the front. And so, um, I will probably utilize this just like I utilized my old pouch. I might even move the things that were in my old pouch into this one. We'll see. I don't know. I might just fill it with new things and keep that one the way it is. Um, this isn't removable though, so keep that in mind. <laughs> um, the old pouch I just kept like pictures in and like little bits of pretty, I don't know, happy meal. I don't know, just random stuff. Anyways. Um, so I have this idea where this is an 18 month planner. Like I said, it's, so it's really thick, but it also has the whole like 18 months worth of, um, lots of stuff. So I don't need any of this because January through June, 2020 has already passed. So I don't see a point in doing that and eating that, but I am going to go ahead and turn this into a, um, first day of school and last day of school kind of a thing. Here, I'll show you. I did that in my old planner and I loved the, the way that it kind of turned out. So I did have to shrink these pictures by a lot. Um, because I had just made these like small little boxes. So I'm actually going to use a ruler to kind of measure out like a four by six kind of a makeshift frame and then just do um, 
first day of school and last day of school, especially since it'll be an important year since it's my son's first, um, you know, what is it like first day of middle school, you know, sixth grade. So I don't know what's going to be happening with the pandemic and how they're going to be going to school and all that. So that's kind of weird, but it is still, you know, going to be his first day of sixth grade. So I'm going to go ahead and take, I have this sheet of like silhouette sticker paper. I don't have a silhouette, but I do have the sticker paper and I'm going to just stick it down like this, but I obviously need to trim some of it off. But this whole thing is just like a giant sheet of just blank sticker paper, basically. The whole thing is just a sticker and I'm going to stick it down and then I'm going to trim it off. Okay. So there this is. I'm actually quite impressed. I can't like see through it. I didn't need to wipe anything out. So that's great. I actually realized this is the only ruler that I own besides for that broken one. So definitely going to need to order another ruler. Um, but let's go ahead and measure out. Wait. Oh yeah. Um, like a four by six. Does it start here? I don't know. Or does it start at that first line? Whatever. I'm just going to start it right here. Um, so this is going to be, whoops, this is not going to be perfect at all. And this is going to be four. And then the six is right. Oops, this is not straight. <laughs> right there. So I'm going to trace that out and make like a two squares. Okay, so here that is. Um, let's go ahead and do some decorating. So I have these tapes from the Target dollar spot. I've had these for years and I really only use them just to mark, you know, uh, like this stuff. <laughs> so that's why I guess it's lasted me so long. Um, and so I want to like just add, I don't know, I just like randomly add things here and there and I like the kind of like ripped look. I don't know. So I'll just do that. And hopefully, I don't think I measured, obviously, you know, perfect enough, but hopefully it's good enough so that like, you know, when I put the pictures in it in, in here that it'll, um, I don't know, it'll be like, so I kind of want to put this here, but then the picture is just going to go on top of it. Oh, well. Anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, hopefully when I put the pictures down, it'll be like... I don't know accurate enough that you're not going to see like a bunch of line like that I oh, did I grossly over exaggerate the lines who knows um that's kind of crooked I'm not going to put too too much because I do like I said I'm going to put the picture in and then the picture's going to cover the washi so I think what'll be better is kind of once the both the, the first day and last day are in then to kind of decorate it more with some washi that'll probably be better but I do have a few stickers I kind of want to use. So they're kind of school or book related and I thought that'd be kind of cute. So here I have a bunch of stuff. Um, I've got these like little corners that are scalloped corners by Cozy Paper Co. This is a shop that I fear for. And they're just like foiled and they're like school themed. So I don't know, I thought that <laughs> it just went wherever it wanted to go. I thought that would look kind of cute maybe it would look really cute like this oh that would look so cute okay I'm gonna put it here just to remember but then obviously the picture is gonna cover it when I put the picture in <laughs> and I'll put the I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll put the picture in and then just like put another scallop on top you know this kind of like reminds me of that's the idea I was going for so I'm just gonna take this little book stack with the wand and the glasses from this Harry Potter thing from Fox and Pip and she also has a backpacks too and little planners that are cute i'm gonna put a backpack there i've got these old littles from the sticker genie um i'm i believe her shop is no longer open unfortunately but i like the one that's like reading and then the one that's got like this papers it kind of looks like i don't know a report card or something so i'll put that down there um i have a study script from Artbox stickers and then I have a review script but I don't think I'm going to use that. Um, I have these pretty open books from Creating & Co. This gorgeous hollow foil. That looks really pretty. 
And I also have more books from Nashri Designs in Silver. I'll put a book over here. And I have more books <laughs> from Happy Scrappy with the teacup on top. Um, let's put that one here. Uh, let's see. Backpack from Cozy Paper Co. And I like, I don't have a rhyme or reason for the things that I do when I do kind of more creative things like this. Um, I just, I'm going to use this cute little Van Sticky Girl who's got like the desk like she's working, you know. Let me think. Over here. Yeah, that's cute. It's a Harry Potter themed sheet again. Anyways, yeah, I don't have any rhyme or reason to what I do. I just kind of do it. And I just play around with stuff, washi and stickers, until I think it looks cute. And that's kind of how I, I get to where I want to go. So I think I'll stop like that. And then, is there any more washi? Oh, you know what? I want to use this washi. I have this really cute book washi, but I don't think there's room for it. But I do have this really skinny book washi that I kind of want to do up here, maybe. This is Creating Co. washi, like book lovers washi or something like that. This is matte sticker paper that I used to cover up the calendar, and it's like very uh, stickers and washi really, really want to stick to it. So that's interesting. Um, so I'm just going to put this in here. Actually, let's continue with like roughed up looking. Yeah, I was going to use this to cut it, but never mind. Um, let's see. I, oh, I have so much cute washi I could use, but there's no room until I put this, the photos in. I have these really pretty books from, um, these are from Simply Gilded. And then, like I said, these books are from Creating & Co. And I would love to just do like a strip of books. And then I also have, this is like a stationary kind of themed washi. I think this is from Parasol Paper. And this Science washi, that's cute. This is from Simply Gilded. Maybe I'll put this in. Especially because he's probably going to be taking like a chemistry class or something in the sixth grade. So just like, I don't know where I should put it though, down here. Hannah Cuts is genius, but it's like periodic table. Oh my gosh, stop. It's cute. It's going to cover up a lot of that. Um, oh, I feel so bad because I don't want to put it somewhere where it's going to cover up stuff, you know? Can I just put the pictures in first and then put the cute stuff underneath, over top? Whatever, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I think I wanna take this. I like this little atom, but I think I wanna take it off. I think I'll just go like, oh, there we go. Goodbye, little atom, I'm sorry. Okay, so, um, that is gonna do it for the like school section. For the rest of the year at a glance, um, I want to use this again for school related stuff like spring break and winter break and all that, but I don't have um, his school schedule because of COVID. Thank you very much. So I'm going to leave that blank, but just so you know what I'm going to be doing with it, um, I'm just going to be using all of the this year to glance calendar for his school stuff. Okay, so for this section here, because it is an 18 month planner, but I kind of don't plan on staying this, <laughs> staying in this for 18 months. Um, I am going to do the same technique with the sticker paper and cover this up. And I want to do a, like a, like another kind of a year at a glance, but empty boxes. So that way I can just fill it in with whatever I want, you know, and there needs to be all 12 and not six. So I'm going to edit, not edit. I'm going to white these out with a big old sheet of sticker and then I'm going to cut that out so I'll be right back okay so like I was saying I don't think I want to use this for the entire um 18 months so I do plan on like letting this planner just end in June 2021 and then I will probably remove those last um last remaining six months of the planner just because this would be super thick um, of a planner for 18 months once you load it with stickers. Because, I mean, y'all can see how fat this planner is over here. This is a 12-month planner loaded with stickers. I mean, look at how fat this is. And this is compared to an 18-month planner. So I can't even imagine how fat this is going to be, an 18-month planner full of stickers. Like, no thank you. So I'm not here for that. <laughs> 
Um, plus I think a lot of shops are going to be coming out with some new ideas and you know, new planners and new things. And I would love to, you know, try them out, see what's out there, give some other shops a chance, support small business, that kind of thing. So, um, for this section, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and make 12 small boxes. And I plan on this to be like a year at a glance for more annual or semi-annual or biannual kind of events. Um, things that are like, um, or like, or like important things that occurred that month that I just would like to see at a glance, you know? So for example, my husband and I, we lost our jobs from the virus, um, back in March. So if, if for example, this planner was the planner I was using and it was full of stuff, I wouldn't have to go through every month and be like, when did I lose my job? What day was it again? Blah, 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 blah. I wouldn't have to look every single month. Um, I would just put that here and I would just put like important things that happened in March, lost our jobs. Like, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So these are gonna be important things like my son's IEP meetings or we had to replace like, you know, the air conditioner unit for the house or, you know, stuff like that. So that way when I go through my planners, if I need to know something important, I don't have to look through every single month or every single week. I can just refer to this for like important things. And it's all right here, the whole entire year at a glance instead of searching through every single month. So be right back. Let me figure out how to, um, how to section this into 12 boxes. Okay. So that is about as even as I could get this. Um, clearly my whiteout doesn't match, but it's not going to bother me too much. And the lines are not evenly spaced as well, but that's not going to bother me too much either, I think. So, um, it's, you know, as long as it's functional to me, that's what's important, right? <laughs> Anyways, so that's what's going to be my little recurring events, important things, um, appointments that are maybe annual, uh, that kind of thing. So these I want to go ahead and remove, these stickers that come in the planner. I just don't see myself using them, but my son definitely would. He loves colorful stickers. Whoops, that is not good. <laughs> separate please okay let me remove these okay so he is definitely gonna love these stickers that just come in the planer he loves his colors and he loves these kind of boxes and checklists and habit trackers and he's gonna love the emojis for sure so more for him this is a really pretty pocket i love this watercolor dot polka dot pocket this is going to be part of my july notes um with these planners you don't get a lot of notes for the months it just hops right into the month so you only get just one page for each month so what i've decided i'm not going to plan that right now because i do a monthly plan with me on my channel so i'm not going to show you but i did write it down so you could kind of get an idea of what i plan on doing with my months um over here i'm going to have a savings and sinking fund tracker and an order tracker as you can see this is the end of july so there's only one notes page um so this the interesting thing is you've got your lines and you've got a little dot grid sidebar so you can do interesting things with that i think but i have um these uh like i plan on using these kind of kits that have like long thin strips for the savings and sinking fund tracker where you can just list your transactions that's what I'm gonna do with that. And then in the sidebar here in the dots, I might go ahead and put like the beginning balance, ending balance, that kind of thing. And the transactions here, I kind of like that idea. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And then the order tracker, I'm just gonna have like shop name, date ordered, date shipped, date received, and just make a list of that. My habit trackers are gonna go here for now. These are the habit trackers that I am using. These are from a happy planner sticker book that a planner friend of mine sent over since she wasn't going to use them. She gave them to me. So graciously and so these are what i'm going to be using for now i'm just going to put my little habit trackers like this there's no quote or anything some of the months do have a quote so I'll maybe put them like this or something like that but for now i'm going to use these but i do want to get those like long ones where it's just like one through 30 and then over here you write in the habit i'm going to do that that way i could maybe like stack them all at the bottom or maybe if there's room just stack them all right here i really only have like four that i'm tracking right now so uh that's what i'm going to be doing for the habit trackers I've always done a monthly habit tracker instead of a weekly habit tracker because I take my New Year's resolutions and turn them into actionable steps like that I can measure through habit trackers. And um, I have like four, I used to have five, but I have four of them now. And I just think having like four habit trackers in your sidebar when you're planning would just be like way too much. Not this. Oh, here. Four sidebars would be way too much. Four sidebars. Four habit trackers would be way too much. And plus, I like to see my progress at a glance. I don't want to have to look week by week and see, did I meet my goals? Did I meet my 
how many times did I do it this week? You know, I'd rather just like look here and be like, oh, I need to improve this one. I don't know. So I do like a monthly habit tracker. Uh, be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss my monthly plan with me's if you do want to see how I'm actually going to lay these down with stickers and sticker kits um, and stuff like that. For my sidebar, I plan on using that as a to buy to film this month and my social media numbers. Since I only have, like I said, this one notes page, I don't have a lot of notes like room, so I'm going to definitely be using, utilizing my sidebar. I used to never really use my sidebar all that much in my old planner because I did have like a ton of notes pages. I think there was like four, but now there's only one. So definitely gonna be using my sidebar um, for these things right here. And now um, for the notes section in the back, there's a ton of notes back here. I believe I counted 17 pages. Um, I've got so far an idea for 11 pages of notes <laughs> and then the rest I will just, I don't know, figure it out. So um, first up, we're gonna do my fall traditions um, and school information for my son's uh, school, which I can't really fill out. Obviously, I'm not gonna show on camera, but even uh, if I had the information, um, I don't, what am I trying to say? I, if I had the information, I wouldn't show on camera, but I can't fill it out because I don't have the information anyway. So I don't know what his blocks or classes are gonna look like. I don't know the names of his teachers. I don't know anything right now, but that's what's gonna go on one of these pages. I'm just gonna have a lot of this cute um, school washi and put the name of his school, the names of the teachers, you know, the kind of like blocks or periods, tracks or whatever they call it that he's gonna be following, that kind of thing. Um, and then my fall traditions are gonna go right here. Oh, I forgot. Before I do that, um, I wanna put, there's not like a this planner belongs to kind of a thing, but I do wanna put in a little sticker that has my name on it. And these are like little custom stickers that are offered by Joyful Planner. I don't know if she's still offering these, but I did buy them when she did. So I think it's cute because it's got my name and then a bow and it's on this like holographic. It's pretty hard to see, but it has this like holographic overlay. I don't know if you can see it. Whoops, I probably just shook the camera, sorry. I'm just gonna put this in the front, I think. And maybe I'll just write it in myself, this planner belongs to, I don't know. I don't really take my planner anywhere. I don't like take it out of the house because um, it's just too big but you never know. And I did take my last planner to Go Wild 2019 and um, I was worried. I was like, what if I lost my planner? So I did put my like name and number in it. So I'm just gonna leave that there. I think that looks cute. Anyways, let's go back to the notes section. Okay, so let's get started on the decoration part of the school stuff. I think I like this. I mean, the lettering is 
gross, but you know, what are you gonna do? Um, I'm also gonna put his lunch, since they have multiple lunch periods, his locker number, and then the code for his locker, and then I'll just have his schedule here. Um, I don't know if I should put like teacher names or if I sh where should I put them if I do? Hmm. I'll think about it because I have a little side, a little, a little bit of sidebar space over here. I could put stuff and I don't know, depending on how big his schedule is going to take up, I might have more room down here. We'll see. So I'm going to leave it like that so far for the school info. Okay. So now for our fall traditions, um, this is a very decorative page and I'm going to use some washi from Simply Gilded. I've got the, um, bow washi with, what is this? Plaid? gingham, checkers, whatever, this, <laughs> and then also the word washi. It says like falling leaves, cider, give thanks, cozy, hot cocoa, spice. Is it just spice or is it pumpkin spice? I can't see. We must know it's pumpkin spice. <laughs> um, so it says all the cute cozy things. And then I have a bunch of stickers for deco um, from the Happy Planner book. And I'll try to link that down below. Oh, this is this school book. I thought I would bring that out because I might need to use that. But anyways, a lot of these are just like cute for the fall. So, oh, and then this one is from Bloom Daily Planners. So let me show you what I'm going to do. Oh, by the way, before I forget, I wanted to show you um, the other side of the page just so you could see like the bleed through because um, I didn't put any sticker paper on this one. It's just the paper of the planner and I'm happy to report that there is nothing and I went over this a couple of times actually and this is the pen I'm using. It's the Sharpie S gel in 05 and yeah, there's nothing shadowing. I don't see anything at all. So that is fantastic. Anyways, wait, why am I? Oh, that's funny. Well, I was supposed to put the notes, <laughs> the school notes and the fall stuff here. And I didn't do that. So cool. Guess I'll just do something else here.
Okay, so I think that's gonna do it for my fall traditions. I really like how this turned out. It's very orange and warm and red. Super pretty. Um, so hold on, let me go back to this page because this is where these two were supposed to be. Um, and I'm gonna do a book log on this side. So I don't know what that's gonna look like because I've never done a book log before, <laughs> but I decided I wanna do one. So let's get started. Okay, I think that's good enough, I guess. Let me know if you have any ideas about what else I could put in here, because other than, you know, the names of the books and how many I've read total in the end of the year, uh, I'm not sure what else to put. Um, I think it's kind of, I had only originally planned for this to be a one page thing, but I kind of think it's a good idea to leave this, that this ended up being blank, because you know what, maybe I'm going to read so much that I'm going to need another page next to it. So I'll leave that blank in case I end up turning this into like page two of the reading log. So there's those pages. Uh, then the next two pages that I'm going to do are for Halloween, which is my favorite holiday.
Okay, so here's my two Halloween sheets. I think I'm going to leave this one a little more open so I can fill in, I don't know, some more Halloween stuff. But I love how the movies turned out. I have my little, like, movies here, but then this is, like, specific to Harry Potter movies. I don't even know if this is in order, so forgive that. But love these two pages. Um, and then the next two pages are going to be Christmas. Okay, so here's how my two Christmas or winter sections came out. I don't actually um, celebrate Christmas in the Christian way. I'm actually not Christian, um, but our family does, you know, do the kind of commercially Christmas type of celebration. So here I like to track all of our favorite movies to watch. Actually, some of these I haven't seen. And actually, I don't think I've seen like the rooftop Christmas tree, but I've heard that recommended. And like, It's a Wonderful Life. We haven't really watched that in a long time, but you know. I put our favorites up here and Noel and Klaus are new favorites for us. Those were really good movies on Netflix. Anyways, so movies and then some of our favorite traditions. The next two pages I'm going to use are for, wait, I have like, what is sticking out? Oh, I'm washing. Um, the next two pages I'm going to use for, hold on, how do I cut this? Okay, just spin it all over the place. I'm going to use for tracking, um, not tracking a um card card tracking cards to send addresses that's the word so i have two pages i'm gonna just kind of make an address book but these are for only for people who are like planner friends or distant friends who live out of state and i send them christmas cards and then um i'll just make a check next to the name once i've mailed that card out so i'm not going to do that on camera since obviously i'm not going to show everyone's addresses but that's what these two pages are going to be for so that way it's you know immediately following the Christmas stuff. Um, and then for the last two pages, I planned on having this be, um, um, so for the last two pages, I kind of ended up planned on them being like a gift list. Um, since we have quite a few people to buy gifts for, um, but I'm not sure if I want to do that like that this year because it got really, really messy <laughs> in my last planner, like scratching out and everything. So I'm thinking maybe instead just getting like a little TN insert and then that way I can I don't know if it's messy I can print it again or because like look I'm not kidding let me show you how messy it got no exaggeration here's just <laughs> it got so messy I had to like put sticky notes and then I started highlighting stuff that I already bought but then like 
checking it if it was wrapped already and then some stuff I was like wait are we wrapping this one or is it going in the stocking so I put a W for wrapping and S for stock it got so hectic and this like just that just got me so upset <laughs> so I don't know if I want to do that but that could be an idea for you maybe if you are trying to think of ideas of what to put in your notes section so I'm gonna have those two pages worth of contacts and then um and you know I have those contacts on my phone too and stuff but I'd rather it be on paper because then I you know I'll check it off if I've mailed them their cards and that way I know you know oh did I mail uncle blah 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 a card if there's a check then that means I did you know um so anyways and then yeah gift ideas definitely if it works for you that didn't work for me but we'll see and then I have a still two four five more pages of notes that I don't know what to do with so let me know if you have any suggestions you know if you have any ideas or anything uh leave me a comment down below but I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, sorry, it was a long one. I'm going to have a huge mess to clean up. But um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up because it helps out my channel. And definitely subscribe if you're not already since I do put out videos regularly. I try to do three videos a week. Um, <clears throat> For the two of you guys that are still watching right now, thank you so much for your support and sticking around this long. You are the real MVP. All right, y'all. I hope that you take care and have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope that this video was helpful and gave you some ideas. And I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, y'all.